Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here with us today. I'm Anissa Stearns, Vice President of Member Engagement with ACCE, and certainly appreciate your time and being with us at this year's Chamber Innovation Summit. And it's my pleasure today to introduce to you to a couple of folks who are gonna to talk to us about travel in the chamber industry. Uh, Jim Edwards, who is Vice President of Affinity Development with Colette Travel, and Bob Chappelle, who is Chief Operating Officer with the Mobile Alabama Chamber. It's good to be with you guys today and look forward to, to being back in the same room together eventually. But for now, this will have to do and certainly appreciate your time with us today. And um, for those of you on the call that, that may know, Colette has been a longtime partner with ACCE and has always been a trusted source for us to be able to refer our members to for their travel needs. And certainly looking forward, Jim, to hearing about the state of the travel industry right now, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, and, and how you guys are, are coping with that. Um, just a quick reminder that we have a quick session today of 20 minutes. So we will do the presentation and we will have live um, Q&A in the chat. So for anyone that's with us on the call, please remember to put your questions in the chat and I will be asking those at the end of the session. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Jim and if you'll do um, introductions and then flip it to Bob. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you folks. So excited to be here with you, even though it's virtual. Uh, it's great to be talking about travel and um, certainly got a quick uh, little intro, but you should see on your screen that quote there. And I tell you what, um, I think it's been said before, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And that certainly is true with travel, but we are seeing a big rebound and uh, uh, we're proud ACCE sponsor, longtime sponsor like to thank our loyal partners for your trust and support over the years. Today, our goal is to really share the state of travel with Colette and also to forecast uh, what we think is gonna be a robust return. Needless to say, the last year and a half has been a real challenge in many industries, including chambers, as well as uh, travel, especially travel. However, in the next 20 minutes, I'd like to share a little bit of information to give you confidence to offer travel as a non-dues revenue generator. And we actually might be living with COVID for some time. Uh, there might be spikes and things to, to worry about. We might see the world go sideways again. Therefore, I think it's important that you align your chamber's brand, you protect your fiduciary responsibility to your members and community with the most experienced travel company. It's 103 years in business. And one you can trust to always do right by you and your travelers while you're also earning substantial non-dues revenue. Speaking of loyal partners, I'd like to turn it over to my friend and uh, longtime partner, Mr. Bill, Bill Chappelle. Well, thanks, Jim. Hey, everybody. It's good to be with you uh, today and um, helping share some of the information and our experience that we've had with, these, with the travel program. Um, you know, I think most everyone that works in the chamber business does spend a lot of time and, and effort to establish and build and pr protect our brand. Um, and when so when you partner with somebody, you want to know that you can trust them and Colette's professionalism, their delivery, their responsiveness, uh, attention to detail has all aligned really well with with our brand. And I think broadly with probably any chamber that's uh, that's out there. Travel, of course, can be a great experience. Uh, it can also, uh, things can happen out of your control. A traveler becomes ill, there's uh, equipment issues, uh, schedule changes, uh, and, and our experience with Colette has just been outstanding. They're responsive. Uh, they've just, they, they really are top notch. I've had chamber friends who maybe haven't had that type of experience, uh, and that's not been our experience with, with other companies. Uh, but it's not been our experience with Colette. They've been our trusted travel partner since 2012 when we began to plan our first trip, which was in 2013. Since that time, we've done one to two trips with them uh, every year uh, all around the world to, from South Pacific to Canada to Scotland, Costa Rica, uh, Iceland, Italy, just all over the world. Beautiful locations and tremendous experiences for our travelers. Uh, 
Jim mentioned the past year and a half, of course, the COVID times have been a tremendous challenge, but uh, COVID is, Colette has really worked hard with their travel protection, the money back guarantees. And when the, when the, when the closures were to happen, they've quickly worked to find the options and present those and reschedule as quickly as possible. Uh, relationships, as you know, in any aspect of life, they're built on trust and communication and they work hard at both. Uh, I would give a, a shout out to our go-to guy. That's been Jack Brinson at Colette uh, for over the years. And, and Jack has proven himself reliable and dependable and, and all the things that you want in a, in a partner. We've got trips coming up right now. We're off to uh, Portugal in November. And in May of next year, we'll be on a, uh, on a cruise in the Croatian islands and in, in the Adriatic City, we're Adriatic Sea, and, and we're very much looking forward to that. Um, Jim early early on mentioned non-dues revenue, and some of you are wondering, well, what are you guys making on this? And it's significant for us. Uh, during our travels with with Colette during the non-COVID years, we've averaged between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollars on an annual basis, uh, which I said is significant. But the benefits of the travel program, there are some there that I'm not sure we really, we really realized when we got into it. It's helped us build and cement relationships, uh, meet new customers, new members, uh, presents opportunities for having an opportunity to, to discuss added value that we can, that we can bring, increased investment, uh, and larger engagement with the chamber. Um, so the financial benefit is there, but you're going to reap rewards that you that you can only uh, think about right now. So uh, our experience has been a good one, and I'd recommend you, you all have a have a conversation with Colette. So, Jim, I'll pitch it back to you. Thank you so much, Bob. I uh, really appreciate uh, sharing about your history, a little bit of your pandemic story, okay. and your experience with Colette. Thank you very much. Um, what I'd like to do is talk with you a little bit about our maybe our pandemic story, um, make sure you realize what we've gone through, but uh, you can imagine in 103 year history of our company, we've seen about everything you can see, uh, but COVID has really been unprecedented. It's hit the travel industry particularly hard. Since 1918, we've been conservative in the way that we run the business and we remain a gold standard of financial stability in the travel industry. We're a 482 Dun & Bradstreet rated company we're a member of USTOA, which is the highest level of consumer protection and membership in the travel industry. We're actually on the board. And that's actually where we get a lot of our information to make plans and move forward with reoperations. Plus through all this, we've maintained an A plus Better Business Bureau rating. We don't have debt on any ships, no debt on hotels or airlines. We own all the buildings that we work, work in. And that gives our partners and guests a lot of confidence not to mention the money back refunds that were timely that we gave early on. I'd like to just uh, share a short video. Uh, it's Jacqueline Libacote, our president of Colette. She's gonna tell you a little bit, little bit about what we went through and how we helped our partners and our guests through this crisis. As the vaccine rollout continues and the return of travel is on the horizon, we want to take a moment to reflect on the last year. One question that so many have asked me throughout this experience is how did Colette get through this? The tourism and hospitality industry was devastated by COVID-19. How did you get through this? And the answer simply is, we did what we always do. We did the right thing. We put our customers first. And that was how we got through this, even though that was not easy in these unprecedented circumstances. We entered into 2020 on track to have the best year in our company's history. And then suddenly that spirit of excitement was extinguished and we were in the pandemic and the world was in lockdown. And honestly, it was utter chaos in the beginning. This was a crisis, a crisis we crashed into from the highest possible place. We had to cancel the majority of our tours and make some incredibly difficult decisions. Many travelers out there were left with no choice but to take a future travel voucher. 
but we empowered our guests to make the best decision for them. Whether it be rebooking for a later date, a future travel voucher, or your money back. And we gave over $135 million back to travelers in refunds because we firmly believe we have not earned your money until your tour operates. We have done this during other crises, the housing crisis of 08, 9-11, and others. We didn't see this as a decision. This is just what we do, what we have been doing for decades. Our financial stability has allowed us to protect our customers in both good times and in bad. We got through this by staying true to ourselves. We're a family business. Employees, partners, travelers, you're all a part of the family. We work hard to earn your trust, and we will always work hard to keep it. We are coming through this crisis with a strong sense of who we are. We are the company you can trust to always do the right thing and always put you first, no matter what is going on in the world. Today, we see hope on the horizon with the vaccine rollout underway. The spirit of excitement is returning. Travel is coming back. For now, travelers can enjoy exploring within their own country and eventually we will all be traveling the world again. And I think we will all appreciate it on a much deeper level. I know that I will. I can't wait to get back out there again and see you on the road. And some of you may or may not know this, but uh, Colette actually led the way to restart travel last July. So from July through October, we were on the road in uh, the United States, trips that we offered throughout the USA, all around. Uh, so we operated over 2,000 guests. And um, I think what people are looking for right now is flexibility and choice. And again, that drives confidence. And when um, maybe times are different, challenging, maybe even uh, sideways, as I mentioned, they want choice and having a choice to get their money back. This is actually what Colette guests see and our partners seen uh, during out during this crisis. So uh, three choices, including full money back refund. That includes a hundred percent money back refund. And uh, that's just what we do. Again, family owned and operated American company. It's so much more than that. It's our industry leading travel protection plan. Again, even pre COVID, we have a policy that allows cancel for any reason up until 24 hours before departure with a hundred percent money back refund. Not 65% like other companies, but a full money back refund, not vouchers, not future travel credits. Again, this is pre pandemic, nothing has changed with our travel protection. So again, if you're looking for a partner in travel that you can trust that you know will always do right by you and your members, um, certainly there is only one choice. As we begin to operate here this year, we restarted in April. Again, taking information from the CDC and USTOA, the WHO and medical professionals, um, we started operating with uh, protocols in place as well as uh, operating internationally with proof of vaccination. Right now, it's just a little card. That's all you need. Or recovery from COVID, if you have proof of recovery, or a negative COVID test within 72 hours of arrival. So much of Europe has opened up. We actually restarted travel internationally in April to Costa Rica, as well as Panama. And the video I wanna show you is uh, just a quick look of what travel looks like right now. Again, not only do we have 103 years experience in travel alone, but also through this pandemic, we're one of the few companies that began operations early on, even pre-vaccines. And now with vaccines in place, more than 80% of our travelers actually are vaccinated. But I wanna show you this video and uh, give you a good look at what travel looks like today. I really thought the day would never come. It's so liberating to finally be able to travel. Plus in a place like Costa Rica, I just had to do this before any more time passed. I was amazed at how diverse this country is. We went to the beach, the cloud forest, we watched dolphins swimming in the ocean. It's just amazing. Thank you. <laughs> what 
better way to spend my 80th birthday. Pura Vida. Because I'm cheering. <laughs> this is the first time that I've been out of the country, and it was a fabulous trip of a lifetime for me. We're, we're blessed to be able to get out and go again. We've been traveling with Plant for 16 years, and it's just been an awesome experience. You know, you can't put off to tomorrow because you don't know that tomorrow's going to come. So I'm just very grateful to be out here. It was beyond my expectations. This has been a trip of a lifetime, but at the same time, it's really put the travel bug in me, and I can't wait to go out and do it again. And I really want to do this so much more and learn all about these different countries and cultures and the people, and Colette really is the best. This was a trip of a lifetime because it was a celebration of our 50th wedding anniversary. Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. The feeling I get traveling each time is just a exhilaration, it's excitement. Go for it. It's safe to travel. Get up and go do it. Again, a quick look at what travel looks like now. Remember, again, this actually happened uh, mid-April. Uh, so we're a couple months uh, through it. We've been operating in Europe with uh, Iceland and most of the EU right now. Uh, we just announced that we'll operate Ireland uh, July 21st. Canada just opened borders to Americans that are vaccinated. We'll restart travel there mid-August and many more to come. Here's a quick look at some of the de uh, destinations that are top sellers. These are not just people going to our website and searching itineraries, but actually buying itineraries. So 2022 is gonna be robust and uh, certainly are seeing it now. You're gonna see a lot of uh, domestic itineraries as well as international. And you can actually go to our website and see the itineraries that are actually operating right now in 2021. You can click on those, uh, the names of the trips. You'll see all the departure dates, thousands of departure dates, people that were lined up, ready to go, and just waiting. All of our European itineraries, Central America, Africa will be, be coming back slowly. You'll see Morocco there. We just announced that we'll be operating our planes of Africa, uh, which is primarily Kenya. But that certainly gives you a look-see, and uh, I think we have time, Anissa, for a few questions. Yes, I and I did get a few questions. You answered a few of them. One of them was uh, the top destinations, and I had mentioned in the chat that I've been hearing a lot about Portugal and Iceland. Those seem to be the two that I've heard, and they were both mentioned. Um, Bob, somebody asked in the chat what has been your favorite destination that your chamber has done as a trip. You, you cannot beat going to Italy, um, any, any part of that country, but especially along the, along the water, the Amalfi yeah. Coast in that region is just, it's just gorgeous. The, the water is incredible. It's, uh, and the food's pretty darn good. And you, you actually touched on this, Bob, in your remarks, but somebody was asking about um, the, the participation from your community and that you may not have as many chamber folks. It may be from the retirement community or older folks that taken, have taken advantage of it. Have you seen that change over the years that you have continued to offer trips that now it's a broader mix of, of attendees? It, it certainly is a broader mix. And, and what's interesting is the repeat travelers because once they have that experience, they wanna get notified of what the next trip is and where are you going next year? and they tend to grab their neighbors. Um, I've got two sets of neighbors that have, that have jumped on trips because they've heard my wife and I speak about them. And, and that, that happens quite often. That's, that's a part of that relationship that you build that's just at a different level when you travel with someone. And, and once they experience it, uh, they, wanna, they wanna be on the list. And you don't have to be a chamber member to, to travel uh, by any means. We've, we've had people who have, gotten their brother and sister-in-law who, who live 
a thousand miles away to join us and, and, and go. So it's, it's been, it's really been a wonderful experience and the Colette people do a professional job. They're just excellent. Well, with that, we are unfortunately out of time, but I want to encourage everyone to do a couple of things. This will this session will be on demand and it will be in the portal tomorrow. So if you want to share this with your colleagues or friends, please do that. Um, Jim, you're going to be in your exhibit booth this afternoon so folks can come there and join you. And what is your website, Jim, so that folks can jump over there and see the locations that you mentioned? Yeah, so if you just want to go to uh, gocolette.com, uh, you'll be able to search. You'll see our uh, traveling well protocols and um, see all the information about the trips that we're, we're operating right now. Great. And please do, um, for our attendees today, please join Jim in his exhibit booth, uh, virtual booth, of course, on his profile page, and you can talk to him and his team directly. And I encourage you all to, jo uh, to go to the next track, which starts at 2.30 today. So please join us there. And thank you again for joining us at the virtual summit. And we look forward to seeing you later today. Thanks for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, Bob. So much, Thanks, Bob. Jim. Right. See y'all. Always Take good to see you guys. Bye-bye.